Now, tonight, a CBS 46 pinpoint crime tracker report that every parent needs to see. We're learning investigators have found weapons and other illegal items at three DeKalb County high schools. We're talking a taser, knives, even guns at Columbia and Lakeside. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy live at Columbia with that story. Jamie. Mike, parents telling me they are certainly worried about the number of weapons confiscated at DeKalb County Schools and telling me it's not always an easy decision to send their kids to schools because of the safety concerns. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, do you keep your kids home? You know, it's, I don't know. I mean, I, I just have to pray. Parents grappling with the number of weapons being confiscated at DeKalb schools after returning for less than two months. The society that we're in, that it's just, they, that students, students have just too much access to things that I know that we didn't have when I was, when I was in high school. Already this year in DeKalb, a total of six guns have been seized from students on school grounds. The latest, last Wednesday when guns were seized at Columbia and Cedar Grove High Schools. On Friday, metal detection sweeps also found knives, a taser and vape pens at Lakeside High, while several knives were found at Cedar Grove. Parents and teachers saying more security at schools should be in place. And I just feel like that extra layer of having that secure lobby with the metal detectors, and I think for everybody's safety, I just feel like that might be the extra layer that needs to, to take place. So, Jamie, were you able to speak with folks at the DeKalb County School District about any possible new security measures there? Mike, I just spoke to them before coming on air, and they told me there are a number of security measures that they are looking at, including a lot more lightweight metal detectors, ones that aren't so pervasive to the eyes to make it feel sort of like airport security or a jail. They're also looking at random canine searches at certain DeKalb County schools, and also retaining police officers, making it more attractive to new officers as well. So a number of new initiatives and hopefully this will help to alleviate the security concerns. Mike. And we'll follow up on all of those. Jamie Kennedy live in DeKalb County. Jamie, thanks.